Hello students. Myself Sonal Lal, Assistant Professor at KIT's College of Engineering, Kolhapur. I welcome you all to the course Linear Integrated Circuits. We have started with the discussion of differential amplifiers. In the previous sessions, we have studied about the various configurations of the differential amplifiers like dual input balanced output differential amplifier, dual input unbalanced output differential amplifier, single input balanced output differential amplifier and single input unbalanced output differential amplifier. So, we have started with the discussion of the dual input balanced output differential amplifier. We have gone through the analysis of the uh, dual input balanced output differential amplifier that is DC analysis and AC analysis. In AC analysis, we have gone through the voltage gain of the dual input balanced output differential amplifier. So, let us continue with the AC analysis of the dual input balanced output differential amplifier where we will discuss today about the differential input resistance and output resistance of the dual input balanced output differential amplifier. So, so, the differential input resistance is defined as the equivalent resistance that would be measured at either input terminal with the other terminal connected to ground. So, if I want to measure the input resistance seen from the input terminal 1, so it is given as Ri1 So, Ri1 is the differential input resistance that can be measured from the input terminal 1 is given as the input voltage at terminal 1 that is V in 1 divided by the input current that is IB1. Since now we have applied the input voltage to the base terminal of the transistor, the current that is entering is IB1 that is the input current and the condition is that with the other terminal connected to ground. So, V in 2 is equal to 0 volt. With this condition, we can find out the equivalent resistance measured at the input terminal 1. Similarly, if I want to determine the input resistance measured from the terminal 2, then it can be given as Ri2 is equal to V into divided by now the input current will be IB2 with the condition V in 1 equal to 0. So, this is how we can analyze the input resistance that can be measured at either of the input terminals, either at terminal 1 or at terminal 2. So, first of all, we will determine, determine Ri1. So, this Ri1 is equal to V in 1 upon IB1 divided by and with the condition V into equal to 0. Now, this IB1 in terms of IE1, we can write, rewrite it as V in 1 upon IE1 upon beta DC with the condition V into equal to 0. So, this is beta AC into V in 1 divided by IE 1. So, we have already derived an equation for IE 1 in the previous session. So, here I will re re rewrite it as IE 1 is equal to IE 1 is equal to RE plus RE into V in 1 minus RE into V into divided by R e plus R e square minus R e square. So, we have already derived this equation in the previous class. Okay. So, using this equation R i 1 is equal to beta A c into V in 1 divided by R e plus R e into V in 1 
minus R e. Now, here the condition is that V into has to be equal to 0. So, R e multiplied by 0 divided by R e plus R e square minus R e square. Okay. So, this will give us beta a c into v in 1 into bracket. Now, we will solve this equation. This now this term will come into the numerator side. So, this will be r e square plus 2 r e into r e plus r e square minus r e square divided by r e plus r e into v in 1. So, this v in 1 will get cancelled here. Okay. Also, r e square. So, we will rewrite this equation now. This is beta a c into bracket r e square plus r e 2 times r e into r e divided by. So, what is there here in the de denominator it is r e plus r e. So, this is r e plus r e. So, here we will take this r e common it is beta a c into r e into bracket r e plus 2 r e divided by r e plus r e. Now, we know that r e is much much greater than this AC emitter resistance r e implies that r e plus 2 r e can be approximated as 2 r e and this r e plus r e will be approximately equal to capital R e. So, with this with these approximations we will simplify this above equation as R i 1 is equal to beta a c into R e into bracket now to R e divided by R e. So, this will give us 2 beta a c into R e. So, this is the input resistance that can be measured at input terminal 1 when input terminal 2 is connected to ground. Similarly, we can go for the calculation of R i 2. So, R i 2 will be equal to again it is V into divided by I b 2 with the condition now V in 1 equals to 0. Okay. So, now with this it is V into divided by I b in terms of I e is I e 2 divided by beta A c with V in 1 equal to. Okay. So, now we will put up the value of I e 2. So, the I e 2 we know that I e 2 I e 2 is equal to R e it is R e plus R e into V into minus R e into V in 1 divided by R e plus R e square minus R e square. So, this is the value of I e 2 that we have already determined in the previous session. Now, we will make use of this equation in order to determine R i 2. So, this is R i 2 is equal to 
it is beta AC into V into divided by this now RE plus RE into V into minus RE into now V in 1 is 0. So, it is multiplied by 0 divided by RE plus RE square minus RE square. So, now this will go into the numerator. So, we will rewrite this equation. So, this is beta AC into V into into bracket. This is RE plus RE square minus RE square divided by this RE plus RE into V into now R into 0 is 0. Therefore, R I 2 is equal to beta A C into V into into bracket R e square plus 2 R e into R e plus R e square minus R e square divided by so, what is there? It is V into into R e plus R e, right? So, this is V into into R e plus R e. So, V into will get cancelled here. This is R e square minus R e square will also get cancelled. We will now take this R e in common. So, this is beta A c into R e into bracket R e plus 2 R e divided by R e plus R e. Now, again we will make use of the approximations. So, since now, since R e is much much greater than this AC meter resistance, it implies that R e plus 2 R e is approximately equal to 2 R e and R e plus R e is approximately equal to R e. Okay? So, with these approximations, the R i 2 becomes R i 2 is equal to beta A c into R e into bracket 2 R e divided by R e. So, this R e will get cancelled and R i 2 is simply equal to 2 beta A c into R e. So, if you observe R i 1 and R i 2, the equations for R i 1 and R i 2 are simply equals to 2 beta A c into R e. So, this is about the differential input resistance of the dual input balanced output differential amplifier. Okay, now we will discuss about the output resistance of the dual input balanced output differential amplifier. The output resistance is defined as it is the resistance measured at either of the collector terminals. with respect to ground. So, since now in the dual input balanced output differential amplifier, a matched pair of transistors is used. So, at any one of the collector terminals, if we measure the equivalent resistance with respect to ground, it is called as the output resistance. So, the output resistance at terminal 1 or terminal 2 is simply equal to the collector resistance available at the collector terminal of the differential amplifier with respect to the ground. So, this completes the AC analysis of the dual input balanced output differential amplifier. In this session, we have discussed about the differential input resistance and the output resistance of the dual input balanced output differential amplifier. Thank you.